Hello friends, it's Heather and today I thought I would show you how to use digital papers and digital stamps that you can download and purchase online in your paper crafting projects. I'm going to start out with some papers here from Gecko Gals which will be coming out in February. I've already downloaded them. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose open with GIMP. Next I am going to choose a digital stamp. I like this butterfly one here, um, but there's many beautiful butterfly ones coming out this February from Gecko Gals. Again, I've already downloaded it and it's in a file. And I'm going to choose right click and open with GIMP. I'm going to get these out of the way. And I have a new empty screen in GIMP. And what I'm going to do is use my rectangle tool here, well, the select tool. I'm just going to make a rectangle and now I'm going to use the bucket fill tool and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it black and fill that. Give it a moment to fill. Okay, I'm going to use the um, scale tool and bring the window down here. I'm going to lock the dimensions here so that it gets both wide. Um, actually, I'm going to unlock that and change this to um, inches so I know how big it is and I want my top number to be let's see three and let's go with five for the bottom and scale so now I have a three by five card front base I can work with I'm gonna use my move tool and move this to the center and in my layers box you'll see I'm going to anchor that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer and if you don't know how to do this you can watch some of my previous tutorials on GIMP and you will learn. Um, they're really easy and fun to watch or at least I think they are. Um, let's see where are my other GIMP. Here we go. I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to right click here, edit and choose copy. Now I'm going to go back to our um, card and I'm going to choose the new layer and I'm going to right click edit and paste. So we have this huge image here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and anchor it. I'm going to go back to this layer. I'm going to close the eye on that one so you only see the black. Use my fuzzy select tool and I'm going to click inside of the black so that this is now highlighted. I'm going to turn on the eye and now I'm going to select the paper layer so that I know I'm working on that one. And since I want to keep this area and get rid of the outside area, I need to go to select and invert my selection because this was selected and now I want the outside. I could use the eraser tool and a bigger eraser. Let me find a bigger one here so you can at least see it and I could erase away or I could simply go up here to edit and choose cut and that'll take away everything else. Now I'm going to pull up my digital stamp which is right here and you'll see how it is white background so if I were to print this out it would have a white background so if I printed it out on pink paper or pattern paper it would have a white background. So now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the white so that your pattern paper or your cardstock that you're putting in your printer that paper will show up and only the image itself and the lettering will show up. We're going to go to layer and we're going to go to transparency and you're going to go to color to alpha. A little color to alpha window is going to show up You'll see here in the preview that it's going to get rid of the white. You hit OK. And now you're going to have a transparent background. But in order to print this so that it has a transparent background, you need to save your image and you need to save as. And I'm going to bring this right over here so you can see. Um, you're going to save it as whatever name you want to put. And I'm going to put butterfly because I've done this a couple times and I'm going to put a period and then my extension is going to be a PNG for a ping file. So now I'm going to save that. I'm just going to hit the save button. Let's see if I can scoot that up. Save. 
and this little save as PNG window will open and you just hit save you don't have to worry about anything and it's gonna save it you see the progress bar and so now it's saved so if you were to print this now you'll have the transparent background if you find that your background comes out white on your paper and you used color paper it's probably because you saved it as a JPEG which is a JPG or JPEG and JPEGs cannot handle transparency so it automatically gives it the white background alright now I'm gonna right click on this image choose edit copy and now I'm gonna go back to the little card front that I made let's see here we go I'm going to create a new layer by left clicking, scrolling down and left clicking on new layer. Create the new layer shows up and it's transparency which is what I want and OK. So now I'm on the new layer and I'm going to um, right click, edit and paste. OK, I'm going to scale this so it's not as big so I'm choosing the scale button and I'm gonna bring this down and since I want this to scale both vertically and horizontally together I'm going to lock these links together otherwise it will um, it can uh, make your uh, picture not quite right so I'm having a moment where I can't remember the word that I'm looking for but I only got 10 minutes so I gotta make it quick here trying to move this up and my computer's moving slow so here we go and maybe I'll scale this and make it a little bit bigger after all and hit the scale button use the move tool and just kind of center it wherever you like maybe put it toward the top there we go that looks pretty good maybe move it just a little there we go and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the anchor to anchor that down so now you have a nice um, card front that you could use on one of your cards so the, at the bottom you could um, add some uh, like scalloped paper or you could add some embellishments like a bunch of flowers and some chipboard and that would be really nice okay so I would save this image file and go save as and um, we'll just put your whatever you want to call it butterfly card card and I'm going to save it as a XCF so I can go back in and change it because the XCF file extension lets you save in layers and I just hit enter and it saved it um, that way if you wanted to use a different digital stamp you could just come back in and turn this one off and add another one so I got a couple I got like a minute left so I'm going to add another layer new layer and just clicking OK so that I have that and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my rectangle select tool and I'm just going to select this area here and I'm going to right click edit I'm going to copy visible so I get all layers now I'm going to go to the new layer edit and paste and I'm going to turn off the eye here on these and so you'll see I've got just this one area I'm going to use my scale tool I'm going to bring this down change it to inches I'm going to change this from three and change this to oops I'm going to unclick that first I can do that change this to five and scale and so now it would be like a three by five card and I think that's you know it's a little bit distorted but no one else would know so there's many different things you could do with the digital stamps um, now you could add some embellishments up here if you wanted I'm almost out of time so I'm just gonna go ahead and anchor that down so you have that one you can turn that off and you turn on the other one so you've got many different options here thank you if you got any questions just send me an email or you can contact me through YouTube have a great night thanks bye